Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's 10.31 p.m. Thursday evening in the East Coast here. Just checking out how everyone is doing. Just kind of chilling out and seeing what's going on. The first fragrance we're going to look at is this brand new one. It's called Art de Femme. Art de Femme by Le Vogue. I guess this is a female fragrance. Art de Femme by Le Vogue. I'll just quickly smell it. There's another fragrance in here that's really cool I found. Well, it's called Art Lundi. Mmm. This doesn't smell like a woman's fragrance. It's got that pencil shaving oud note to it. Sterling makes this. I see Brian Ponce's here. Elam Styles here. Hola, Shibeth Regal, 73. What is the best clone of Ombre Nomad? My friend, the very best clone of Ombre Nomad, which is oud, wood, and vanilla and sexiness. It is called Leather Oud. And it's by Oros Pure Leather Gold. Excuse me. Leather Gold is what it's called. That's the very best clone. The second one would be called Grandeur Voyage Exclusive. But the Leather Gold, I've no, I have the original and this. The Leather Gold is much better. It's like $60, I want to say. This is like 40 maybe. But this is very good too. This would be the second best. And then there's some whole bunch of others out there if you didn't know. Native 78, Oklahoma's in the house, I see. Whoops, I'm on the wrong screen. This thing, these things are so... Okay, Johan Benavidas. Hola, como esta? Me encanta la... I don't understand that one. Sorry, if someone can translate. <clears throat> Patrick Harris, good evening, Uncle. Oh, Texas loves you. Yes, Chivas Rigo. Next fragrance is called Ultra Famous. This has quite possibly got to be the best effing fabulous fragrance I've ever found. John Apple Orchid, La Mejor. Oh, yeah. Johan. 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 I like that. Super Johan. Yeah. Yeah, this is better than the other one called Fabulo Intense, but this is called Grandier Ultra Famous. More depth to smell like F Fabulous by Tom Ford. What's up, DJ Cole? What's up, my man? Discounts on the CH Privé. Yeah, all you got to do is take out the credit card. It's free. I mean, why worry about money when you got credit, right? <laughs> Next, let's check this out. Valaya. I don't think if I have that, I'll check it out. Got all kind of fragrances. Tom Ford, Neroli Portofino. Anyone wants to see these, just put it in the text. I'm just going to show you the boxes. And then if I find the actual fragrance. This is what I would love. Tom Ford, Costa Azura Aqua. My English is not good. I understood he has golden oud, but someone wrote Ion in the channel name. Okay, I'm going to write it for you. The best Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad is called Oros Pure Leather Gold. Okay. And we will put... Jeanette Rodriguez is here. Awesome. Yeah, Costa Azura... Mmm. Oh, it's like candy. It's like um, juicy, juicy fruit candy. To me, it's an aquatic. It's so relaxing before bed. You could wear this. But I have, like, this is an old fragrance. I got it five, six years ago. I need to pull it out. I pulled out my old little box here. It's right down here in the floor. So here's another one. I did this test the other day. And one of them was called Harma, La Tafa Harma. And the other one was called 
Rutaba. So Rutaba versus Harma. Isn't it interesting? They're pretty much 90% identical. This one lasted longer and was shooting off my skin more. Maybe it's an extract de parfum is why. And this is a unknown brand by Adian is Anfar, which has been around for years, but it smells really good. It's, exa it's exactly the same. There's not that, it's that sweet smell, just like Hamra. Exactly. It's more rich and more depth for this one. Yes. And I don't know what the ones that are on sale are, but if you ever try, you can try two codes are up there. 50% off. Probably this is on one of them. Maybe, maybe not. The next two fragrances I tested was Tag Rosa. And this one, Conquerors, for sure, is a 50% off. So it's 15. To replicate Invictus Elixir. And this one lasted longer. This one smelled better. And they're both Invictus Elixir clones. Where's, where's the chat window? I lost it again. Sorry. Oh, there it is. We got Friend of Yah and Son of God, best YSLEDP clone. That would be Yah by Alhambra or Mega by RMAF. Hey, Uncle Chris, Robert Fox here. Can you tell me the best YSLY clone? Yeah. Okay. And then his scent of the day is Acid. Scent of the day, Asad by Robert Fox. The Whiskey Reaper is here. Still, I need my... Oh, there's my chat window. Okay. Whiskey Reaper, I see 305. Go Florida Panthers at Best Brands Perfume. South Florida, Alfredo A is in the house. Let's see what we got next up. Next fragrance. If you've never heard of it, it's a tobacco fragrance. It's called Montera Rouge by Fragrance World. It's the exact 99.9%. .9%. As a matter of fact... I need to put these on a video. I'm gonna call it the 99% video because these two are identical to, this is called Mancera's Red Tobacco, right? The other one was called Hamra, but the clone, I guess is called Rudaba. Hamra equals Rudaba. Oh, by the way, does anyone can put in the chat window? See, you guys are pretty much sorry about the, the little hole here. We're doing some remodeling. There's a uh, hardcore fragrance enthusiast, and it's you, the ones that are watching right now. Would you like to see some different kind of fragrance content like um, this stuff, like Gucci or... Roja Dove or niche fragrances like Cursa, Spirit of King. I got all that stuff here, but the analytics tell me differently. Like analytics means you guys are always, if I talk about something, you always want to know what the clone is. I just got this, Reflection 45. This is a very advanced fragrance. I'm going to tell you I sprayed it two times at 7 p.m. and went out for a dog walk at 11 p.m. Four hours, or it doesn't matter what the time is, but I'm telling you it's four hours later and someone was walking as well and they said, my God, that smells amazing. And that was 20 feet away. So this on my skin projected like crazy and it lasted until I showered. I mean, it's called Amo Wash Reflection Man 45, which if you know... You guys told me about it about two weeks ago. It's so disgustingly expensive. It's like crazy. Yeah. Is it worth it? Yes. If you like fragrances and you're into it, I would say get this. And if you were to spray it five times, you would personally, I would get a headache if I sprayed it three. It has some cloyness to it. Very, very high quality vanilla. Very high quality molecules and whatever natural ingredients that are raw they use the most expensive ones in here and the 45 on here that means it's 45 percent oil concentration whereas a regular fragrance like this might be 20 percent this one's about 24 percent 
to give you an idea the average ratio of fragrance oil concentration in fragrances is about 30 so this is 45 they make another one called something 54 i forgot what it was called interlude 54 which is even stronger now does that mean anything if it's that strong yeah it does i mean some people have dry skin and they can't feel it and this will do it other than that it's like jean paul gautier it turned into the six million dollar man to give you an idea in your brain how it would smell i mean i want to spray it now but it'll just blow up so there's that red tobacco there's that talk on that so i was asking you guys if you wanted to see any different type of content is rift decadent or good ysl clone you said it lasts eight to ten hours it's not bad who is this friend of ya how many andre good evening chris do you know zimaya no zimaya i don't know zimaya there's an actress named zimaya be sure to leave some for me brian oh i, for I think i forgot to tell you something I added another free gift in your box. We took off the free gifts. People were abusing them like crazy. But I will re I'll re put the free gifts. I'm going to get rid of the free gifts I have. And start it all over again in the summer, Brian. But in the meantime, I sneak free gifts, real good ones, in people's boxes. Brian Ponce got Tom Ford. I don't know if you got your points. I don't know if you got your package yet. Question, I picked up another backup of CK Shock. Has the black top changed with reformulation? Well, you know, when you get water, the black top means it has more alkaline in it. And the blue top means more spring water. So there's that. You got to think about stuff like that, Whiskey Reaper. You know, about water. And the caps are very important. So, yeah, I would say. Native 78. That's beauty, Uncle Chris. Amouage is a wonder house. Chris Regal, 73. Best cook of Chanel. Allure Homme Sport Extreme. That's easy. It's called Alive Per Homme. This kind of, actually, this, this, this Gucci Guilty. This is called Gucci Guilty Elixir. Oh. Gucci Guilty Elixir. Kind of smells like nutmeg, benzoin resins, vanilla, and patchouli. Mmm. It goes in that direction of that I'm a Watch 45. That's all I can say. It's not anywhere near a comb. Let's see if I can. I like to highlight this guy's. I like this guy here. I like to highlight that. So I was told the other day that I had it here and it's terrible. It's blocking the view. So does it look better down here? Please comment in the box. Just do the thumbnail that says designer. Wait a second. What is that guy? Okay, I got to get you back up on here. Just do a thumbnail that says designer cloner niche and people will know what they're looking at. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a real good idea. Final edition. Don't have the Apple note. Bruno Herrera. I tried RMF Club Nui Intense. Worst fragrance ever. Mont Blanc Explorer is number one. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have the, the Club de Nuit Intense Parfum, which is very, very good. La Venture by Harmain Intense is very, very good. Mont Blanc Explorer is number one. Yeah, I would agree with that. They also make a Mont Blanc Explorer Platinum. There's a new fragrance here I found that, that's stronger than Baccarat Rouge by 40 Extract. It's called the Rouge. It lasts so long and so much projection. It's not even funny. If you like Baccarat Rouge 540, this is it. This is like a $30 fragrance. I'm going to say 40 tops. It's probably just as good, if not better, than something called Untold. Yep. It's just as good, if not better, than Untold. I said it. That's right. This is 
And then there's another one. It's very similar by Alawatania. Almost as good as this. One, two notches down. I got it right here somewhere. Where did I put that? It is so cool. Oh, here it is. It's called Gala by Alwatania, but the best part of this fragrance is the bottle. Look at that bottle. Isn't that cool? It's like a $30 fragrance. It's the same thing as Baccarat Rouge 540, Saffron, Jasmine, Musk. But the bottle here is amazing. I mean, it is fire. Looks cool. Every bit of it. The box is cool. Alawatania. This is a yes for me on this one. The bottle alone gives it so many points. Isn't that like Zerzhov bottle? The Whiskey Reaper, King Yeti. It's okay, never got me a compliment, but I like it. Has gotten me lots of compliments and it's nine dollars at Walmart. You know, Sauvage Elixir. I was out testing in the field today. I'm gonna do a few more tests in the field to see if you guys like those videos. Every single girl, and I, I show Sauvage Elixir too, they curl their nose. They go, this smells like an old man. And young dudes go, no, nah, I mean, it's all right, but it's not really that good. So Sauvage Elixir is a hype fragrance, mass appeal, if you ask people. I mean, it's a well-made fragrance, so don't get me wrong. But like this guy King Yeti says, he wants compliments. Then don't buy Sauvage Elixir unless you, there must be a different zone of people or demographic that like it the the one that they love is the afternoon swim and all those blue louis vuitton fragrances soak sun they love that this was a very nice comment thank you so much thank you brian and hope you enjoy your day too Johan, same clone for Valentino Yomo in Roma. It's not very available yet. Right. What's up, Julius? What are you doing up so late, Mr. Northcutt? All the way in Dallas. This one, a guy called me today. He said, I want some Tom Ford. I go, there's 27 titles of it, you know, and... Then he says, I want Black Orchid. So I'm going to smell it for you right on screen. If you're watching, Tommy Hill from Southern Illinois wants this. I mean, it's definitely unisex. There's hardly anything left in here. Hmm. Does anyone would anyone want to get buy a clone of Tom Ford? I, I know some good ones, but they're like thirty dollars again. It's probably not too popular. This was never too popular, but in the Midwest it might be popular. This is incredible. This Monterra Rouge by Fragrance World. It's it's spot on. Let it macerate, shake it up, and you'll get yourself a great twenty dollar fragrance. It's got suits. By Fragrance World, it's like a $21 fragrance now. Suits is a tuxedo clone. Posh Malt by Fragrance World. Incredible fragrance to replicate. Terry Mugler. This one's my favorite. That's just the kind of fragrances I like to wear. It's kind of sweet fragrances. Let's dig back up into this Tom Ford box, shall we? Shining White Light. Brian says, hello, Whiskey Reaper. And then we have this shining white light. Thank you, shining white light. Cool. I like Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. I can't spray this. This is so strong, it lasts till the next day, the white label. And if somebody just emailed me, We'll take care of your issue, okay? Whatever. I think you said you were missing a bottle. I just got a pop-up on the screen. Maybe he's watching this. I don't know, but I will fix it for you. I'm very much well aware of what's going on. Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Sweet raspberry leather. One spray lasts for real all day or even two days. Let's see if I can handle it. Oops, I put it twice. 
Yeah, that is sexy. AF sexy. I don't see how anyone could not like this fragrance. But again, what you like doesn't mean that 99 out of 100 women will like it. Maybe only 5 out of 100 will like it. Maybe only a certain type of woman will like it. But this is good. This is really good. Now you got the Tom Ford Oudwood. This is very good. The women will like this. This is the real Tom Ford Oudwood. It's a most complimented fragrance, okay? You will get compliments. And you can wear a black shirt with it. You can wear a dark shirt with it, but not shorts. Like all these Tom Fords, the only one is like casual was the first one, Costa Azura Aqua. Then you got the Ebony Fume, which the clone of it was called Fragrance World something or another. Uh, Alpha. Fragrance World Alpha is like 36 bucks. This is a smoky, honey, leathery fragrance. It's pretty cool. Very unique. Very Look at that color. I love it. Mmm, boozy. That's what you got. Booziness in it. I lost this. I keep losing the screen. Okay, let's see. Whiskey Reaper. All my Parfum de Marley compliments by men because they want to buy it. That's what Whiskey Reaper says. Oh, when I click the name, it erases the, the chats. Yaro Rosales Oficial. Can you put Roja Dayan 50% on the code? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it right in front of you. Hold on for one second. Update coupon. Click loading. Marketing. Click loading. Usage. You said you want that one. Adion. Okay. A D Y A N. Roche Premium. And then, where's. Oh, so it's taking a second to update. You got to hold on a second. Hold on, I'm, I'm doing it. I just want to see what the price is. There it is. Oh, I got you. So let's see if I can update this code. Here, I'll show you. Nope, that's the wrong screen. Okay, it's there, but it's still loading. It's it's on the thing, but I have to push the button update, and it will be on 50% using the code DAILY6DEAL, which is the code right here, D-A-I-L-Y-6DEAL, and you can get that, that code, and that was for this guy here. Thank you so much for asking that. Anybody else? <laughs> so what after that? We got GC Man. Unks got me buying again. Hit the thumbs up. GC Man. Did you get the thing to work for you? You just we just talked a couple hours ago. Fragrance World, Ebony Fume, and Alpha are great, says Brian. Thank you, Brian. We have this guy. Let's see. Oh Oh Honey's Wanisian. Oh Honey's Wanisian. Hello, can you advise me, please? The best alternative clone for both Gucci Rush for men and Gucci Envy for men. Thank you. Gucci Rush and Gucci Envy. Hmm. That's one I'll have to work on that. Those are two. I used to love Gucci Envy. Oh, my God. Gucci Rush, I never really liked it. People loved it in a white bottle. But yeah, I don't know of any offhand, my friend. I did see your comment in one of the videos, too. But when I can't answer it, there's like a thousand comments. I just keep it moving. Just so you know. Aziz Doka. Sir, did you try Ibra al Quershi? Blue Oud, it's nuclear. Waiting a review. Please, Aziz, can you just send it to me for free? Because I don't have it. I don't know where to buy it. I can't even pronounce it. But if you send it, I will review it free of charge. You got to send it to me free of charge. Andre says, GC. Thank you. Andre says, good evening, Chris. What do you think of 
Iberian leather perfume by Mimo. I think it's extremely strong because every single Mimo fragrance I've ever tried is nuclear powerful. Wow, 49 people are on here. That's odd. Then we have, ooh, let's see who's next. That was, good evening, Chris. And then, so it smells like 540 Liberty. It smells like 546 million dollar man on steroids. Yes, it smells like untold. It smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Extremely like it. Better and stronger and more depth in it as if it was turned up the volume. Yes, it is very strong, very loud and very good very good quality it smells natural and not synthetic and i'll even spray it for you and the guy across the way here he's a he's a tourist uh guy we're here in miami he works on a tourist boat and he wears it every day he's like a deck dude oh yeah it is perfectly blended and sexy like when you smile when you first smell a clone you either go, ugh, hurry up, or smile. And I smile on this one. On Club to Me Intense, some people might curl their nose. You gotta watch persons. Did you ever wanna try something? Let your somebody that doesn't really know fragrances smell something and watch their immediate reaction. It's very slight. And you'll see them go, but they'll be polite. And they'll go, oh yeah, that's nice. But the first thing they might do is kinda, mm, they curl their nose. You gotta, Really watch for it. You get real reactions that way. That's what I want to do is try to go out on the streets with me and Whiskey Reaper and that other guy and go walking around and go, hey, smell this. And girls will think we're creeps, but, you know, we'll get you the content you want. Next question. Carlos, do you have any Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac clone? Hmm, not yet. I'm... Not yet, my friend. Hola, Unc from Carlos Thomas. UK living. Best amouage freshie, but not reflection man. Well, of course, you have to get Percival, right? Percival is the best amouage. Oh, no, no. Percival is Perfumes of Marley. Oh, best amouage freshie. Mmm, those are hard to get freshies from them. They're all kind of unique, like Sunshine Man and... Beach Hut Man, which would sound like a freshy Beach Hut, but it's really got spices in it and resins. It's not really freshy. I don't know of any freshies by Amawaj. Oh, there is one. It's called Amawaj Search. It's got lots of citruses, touch of oud, and it's delicious. The oud, but it does, the freshness is there. 100% delicious, authentic lemon orange is all over you. Amouage Church. That's what it's called. I highly recommend you get it. Highly, highly, highly. And next we have Beach Hut Man, Native 78. And okay, what was that question? Best Amouage Church. Okay, and then we have Carlos. Then we have Sies. Yes, siete tres. Oh shit, Unk's on. I turned off life for agony of it. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, what else we have here? Because I have untold, but if you say it's good, you have untold. Come on, native man. Are you serious? Where is the guy with the untold? I'm sorry, I don't have the things. Oh, there he is. Yairo Rosa Official says he has untold, and he's asking if this is good. And it's just as good, if not better. And with the 50% off, it's 30 bucks. So right there makes it better. Now what happens is when I clicked his name and you see it down here, it erases the comment section. So I have to reload the, the it's like this thing I'm using, I forgot what it's called, live stream, stream yard or something. 
anyway we're gonna go back to see okay so now we're at okay whiskey reaper masculine plural is my favorite what does that smell like whiskey reaper hey chris picked up coral fantasy from you tonight thanks brad perlman and thank you so much i have to sneak some fragrance into your box too then brad don't i what should i sneak into your box how about some of this I have enough left to sneak. Yeah, Brad Perlman gets some Versace Oudre Noir, which actually... Say that name again, please. The one that smells like Untold is called this. Adian Roj. Is that what you meant, BZ Baby? And there was another person here I noticed from the other night. Let's see... Oh, here it is. Denise Abrahamzi. Hi, Unc. Got an early delivery of my Avenue London and New York. Love them both. One for hubby and one for me. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Good. I told you. <laughs> so this one is for Brad Perlman. I remember he bought Coral Fantasy. This is how I decant my fragrances. Look at that. You just put them in there. Incidentally, I don't know why I did it, but if anyone wants to try the $500 Reflection Man 45, I sell 8 milliliters of it for, <laughs> not 45, but like 40, I think. Denise, you look like a reviewer, I know. If you're still online, I'm not sure. Probably not. Was a reviewer that reviews women's fragrances she looks similar to you there you go brad perlman gets this versace Oud noir do i have a sticker yeah you can get the sticker on it brad uh, i don't have any scissors though but this will be your sticker versace Oud noir now, Oud Noir, some people say it smells like Tom Ford Oudwood, and I'm some people. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, to me, it's like, it's like the same thing, really. And then, what's this? Anybody like this? Anyone know anything about this? This is pretty good. You like that? Brand new bottle. Hmm. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. I don't think this is a good day to be talking about Noir. I should have pulled this out during the holidays, right? Let's get back to the chat window because I lost it again. Uh-oh. Where's the chat window? There's Brad Perlman, BZ Baby. Brad Perlman, thanks. Whiskey Reaper, Baldassini Ultimate. You have a used one I could buy from you. <laughs> Easy baby, yes, it's on your website now. What? Yes, this is, and there's. It. I offered a guy a code of this daily six deal, so you'll get fifty percent off too. You can use that, whoever Easy Baby is, and get yourself that thing. Brad, it's mainly the fragrance inspired by the houses. Check out the list in the description. Brad. It's mainly the fragrance inspired houses. Check out the list in the description. Oh. Oh, what's her name? Oh, um. I don't know, but she talks a lot about Target fragrances and Bed Bath and Beyond, and she loves cotton candy. And I was on her last video talking about Ariana Grande, and she goes, That's not cotton candy. And. I said, well, vanilla and fruits kind of, with the dry down of powdery, kind of reminds me of cotton candy. Um, so maybe she was mad at me. I don't know. But she's a good reviewer. Yeah, and she talks about fragrances that are inexpensive for women and very good ones. I've, I like Sabrina Carpenter makes one called Sweet Tooth, I think. That's the one I got. 
on her recommendation is very good if you like sweet fragrances Denise hey Unc, long time no see thanks for the hookup on the aqua DGO EDP you got it Randy is that you you are the paratrooper guy is that right no that's not you is it what's up Uncle Chris from Texas Joe G I got the Tom Ford Noir it's very good what else do we got okay this is Chirati Brown. Does anyone know this? I don't know if it's on the website, but it might be. I don't mess with that. Oh, here's another one that's pretty cool. It's called Plum Gold by Zakat. Let's take a look. No knives. Got to open it. Freestyle. Yeah. Plum Gold by Zakat is... Bond number nine, B9 clone. Third, ooh, look at that. Plum gold, Zakat. Eau de Parfum. Beautiful colors here. I like that gold sparkle with the box. The text looks nice. Mm hmm. Made in UAE? Yes. Back back of the box has Zakat Eau de Parfum and your instructions and all that instructions other side of the box let's let's get our higher subconscious mind and spray this yeah that's good it's a unisex fragrance it seems like it's nice and high quality definitely needs to macerate Speaking of macerate, I read a whole article on this this Reflection 45 that before they even ship it, they have to actually macerate their whole uh, production batch for 15, it was like 5 weeks or 10 or 15 weeks. And then they tell the store owners to let it sit an additional 3 weeks before selling it. I don't know why that is, but this one is made in Oman, H4278, batch code, Extra de Parfum. I really want to go to town with this, but that will make me have a bad day because the fragrance is so powerful, it'll just blow up. Oh, there's also another powerful fragrance. It's called Azalan Oud. And then, I have no idea what it's like an elixir. It's like a Sauvage elixir style. It's so strong. Very Middle Eastern style fragrance. Very long lasting. It's by Alahermain. They make Aslan Blue, which is definitely Sauvage elixir. But I found a better one that's cheaper somewhere around here. It's really good. Here's the Nashua smoke. That's like Bulgari Fulker. Very strong, smoky, but wearable. Here's the number one angel share ever made. This is the real angel share DNA inside here. Cognacs and praline. The booze is in here. It's not the sweet. This is it. It's called Montage Intense at $29. And this is it. A real deal right here. But the other one I found that was a was a clone of uh, Sauvage Elixir. It's called Soprio. And so there's that. It's almost sold out. So hard to get. In Art of Arabia 1, this has been told to me that it's a twist on the imagination. Art of Arabia 3 is a twist on Dolce Gabbana Royal and something else. This is lovely. I mean, for the price, it's also daily six deal, 50% off. This is a lovely fragrance, 100%. I recommend this, 100. I would recommend you to get this. It's a freshie. This is a freshie. 
got some little tangerine type notes touch of touch of neroli which is a bitter note but more than that it's smooth and fresh and delicious and this one's very good for the for the ladies very good girls gone wild and it's not the video it's a killian take on the uh killian one don't be shy maybe i'm not too familiar with all those killians no it doesn't smell like plum random motion let's see if i can get the comment section somehow better mm -hmm. by the seashore is on 50 percent that's a freshy a live omen tense is the allure Ome allure Ome extreme clone whoever asked that earlier Shout out to the USA soldiers. I agree, Ariana perfume smells like cotton candy too. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. Thank you so much. Joe G, okay, now we're shout out Whiskey Reaper. Richard, best El Manasti Duke. Richard, I'm trying to find it. Right now it's called Jean Lo something. It's on Amazon for 55. Jean Low. I've got it right over there, but um, it's on Amazon. He's trying to. This guy's trying to ask for the Louis Vuitton Lim Limin. I can't pronounce it either. So Liministi. Alfonso Gonzalez, best fresh citrus cologne ever. You really want to know the answer to that, Alfonso? Do you really want to know? The best fresh citrus cologne ever for the money for the big money goes to something called Profumo it's I can't even pronounce it Agva Profumo $300 then for $100 you can get Montal Intense Pepper but that's kind of peppery, but it's citrusy. Then, of course, you have Lemon Lime by Mancera, which smells like squeezed organic lemons all over you. And then those are some of the best. And then you have this one. This is lots of citrus, but lots of clean musk. It's called Maison Francis Kirktigen 724. And it's got those fire citruses in there. Very, very high quality. Almost as if you cut a lime and, and an orange and you can just smell it. Or you squeeze it directly into a glass and you smell it. Oh, it smells so good. The thing about this is I found a dupe called Aston 740 and it's also 50% off. Smells just like it. And I'm telling you, there's no difference. Aston 740. I don't have it here, but... You know, I'll type it in the comments if you want here. It's forty dollars or forty-five, but you you go to this and put this code in daily six deal all the way till four twenty at four twenty PM and then it cuts off daily six deal will give you fifty percent off a whole thirty-five different fragrances. Jean Lo Immortil, yep, Johnny Black. Johnny Black, how you been, buddy? I know Johnny Black. Johnny Black. Is it Richmond, Texas? If I can remember right. I'm not sure about... I thought you lived in Richmond, Texas. What's up, Bunk? Yeah, no, the other plum fragrance. What's the fragrance? What fragrance was the pink one again? The pink one? Oh, uh, you mean this one? Rouge is this one. Adion Rouge. And then there's Girls Gone Wild. And then there's a pink one called Spell on You by Louis Vuitton. And Chant on You is the clone for it. Okay, that's pink. And then there was another pink one called Plum Gold. Maybe that's the one. Yeah, that's pinkish coloring. Plum Gold. Look at that cap. It looks like a royal crown. 
And Plum Gold is a Bond number 9, B9 clone, which is very fancy. I don't have the notes, but let's see what you get in it. You get some. Obviously, you'll get some slight citrus. Betram, if you just sent me an email, I saw it. If there's someone named Betram on this live, we'll take care of you. Yeah, we got this. We, oh, you got that, Alfonso Gonzalez? Okay, well, anyway, that's the uh, cheap one, but Alfonso, you need to get those Manceras. If you got some little change left over, get this Mexican cactus. This is straight up fire citrus. It's by history. Like this little bottle was 200. It's all about green apple, green everything. But it's not as citrusy as you might like. So citrusy are like soap, sun, and stuff like on the beach and by the seashore on the beach is by Louis Vuitton by the seashore is the clone soaked sun is the clone of afternoon swim and then there's one called fascination totally citrus and easy to wear and that's the clone for imagination by Louis Vuitton then there's those total citruses I just told you about by Mancera Johnny Black says yes sir he is from the one and there was one more question I saw oh, yeah yeah you got that right yep John Lowe Immortel about 4050 at the Amazon oh here Andre are there any dupes of Pin Halligan or Nasomato perfumes there are some Nasomatos I never picked them up because I didn't think anyone wanted those Nasomatos are like serious fragrances and I just don't feel like anyone could possibly clone it especially for 20 or 30 dollars so that's why i passed it i am a fan of nasamato but i wouldn't i don't want to bring you like i mean if it if it's similar i would but they make some some heat what means some strong fragrances now the pen halligans there's tons by a new company called georgian and they make pen halligans blazing mr sam pen halligan so all kinds of them, Petra, a lot of Penhelligan stuff. So there's the answer for that. We've been live 47 minutes. I guess it's getting late here in South Beach, Florida. South Beach and heat and citrus fragrance. Whiskey Reaper, everybody, good night. Have a pleasant tomorrow. Peace and love, always.